Hey, it's me, Brian. Um, this video and a couple more videos that are going to follow after it are for my friend David Klein. Right? Uh, one of my subscribers, one of my friends. Uh, he's got a daughter named Charlie, and uh, he is he's past the considering stage. He's into he's into the stage where I'm going to go do it now, and he's building his his rig to go do it. He wants to take his dog and go on a bike tour, on a bike adventure, and he wants to figure out how to make videos so that, that when he gets back, he can have a son helping him. They can edit a bunch of video and they can, you know, at least have, you know, some kind of shit where he can start a YouTube channel about him and his dog and this little trip. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a cool thing. So, um, I decided to help him a little bit by letting him know how we did it, how me and Anonymous, by what we, the equipment that we used and the stuff that we did you know, along the road that allowed us to produce a lot of videos while we were there. You know what I'm saying? Um... In reality, I produced over 300 and something gigs of video along the whole bike tour adventure, right? And I mean, during the course of my whole like YouTube career here, I probably produced over a terabyte of video that's posted. And, you know, I mean, I probably deleted that much more. Right? But anyways, I'm, you know, getting off the subject here, you know. Number one, David, what you need is you need a good, solid smartphone, right? One of these. And this one is Motorola G4. Play. There's a new one, there's the newest generation of Motorola Play, or the Motorola, you know, and Moto G. Right? These are good phones, they're easy to use, they you know, has Android 7.1.1 on it, right? It's got a good 12 and a half megapixel camera, it's got a 5 megapixel camera, front facing camera. They're durable, you know what I'm saying? They're small, they fit in your pocket, they have good battery life, the whole bit. The most important part is, is that this one's got 16 gigabyte storage capacity, and you can take your back off, you can put you know, SD card in it, you can get up to a 64, 120 gigs more storage capacity for making videos. You need one of these phones, a good, you know, decent smartphone, just to use as a camera. And then you need to get that, you know, SD card, right here, uh, I'm explaining to you what I'm talking about here. Um, everybody else knows what I'm talking about, but you probably don't, bro. <laughs> right. The SD card is this little card that fits in right here in the slot. You know, saying so you don't need a SIM card. The phone doesn't have to have service in order to use one of these cards. This is just a memory card so that you can use the the camera, right? Because you know, we 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 carried around me and anonymous carried around like four different phones for cameras just to use as a camera and storage device. You know what I'm saying? Like we had a couple of iPhones that had, you know, like 32, 16 gigs of storage. Plus we had a bunch of, you know, SD cards and all that other stuff. And, you know, we had a couple of other phones. And then I had my little Nikon L27 point shoot digital little camera that used, it used SD, it used the bigger version of the SD card, one like this. You know what I'm saying? But you, you can get the little the little mini ones that fit in the phone and with this with an adapter like this that you could plug into your laptop, you know what I'm saying? So that you could use the storage. But you only need one, you know. Like if, if you're gonna use the little I highly recommend getting a little point cute like the L twenty seven or something. Right? Or cool picks, any other cool picks and Nikon versions, right? That allow you to use these kind of cards. That way you can get like 32, 64, 120 gigabyte, you know, big stuff SD cards. And you can you can make a lot of video. You can record a lot of video along the way and store them. All you got to do is just, you know, get one of them little bags, put them in, and then you know, write on what it, you know, what it is or the date or however, whatever your cataloging system is. And then you always have raw video, you know what I'm saying, to keep you safe from later on. All right. Nikon L27 point and shoot digital camera. That's the one I got. She came from Walmart, 64 bucks. You know what I'm saying? It's all you really need. Right? It uses two AA batteries. It's got really good optics. It's got zooms. It's got the vast majority of my videos on my channel were made with that kind of a camera. Okay, the next thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you got all the right cords and cables right, and everything else that you need. Right, to charge up your equipment, whatever cameras that you have, whatever stuff that you need. You know, what I'm saying you need to protect these. You need not to lose them. It's like this one. This one is special. This one's for my ZTE phone, and ZTE uses the USB-C type cable. And you know so, if you're using iPhones, you got to have you know 30 pins or lightning cables or any of that shit. You need to have it. You need to have the right ones. You got these two of each one. Right now, you need to have a phone charger. Right. Um, you need to have a little bag where you can carry your gear in so that you can keep it secure and keep it dry because if it gets wet, you know, and one of these little things gets wet, you're done. There, there goes 32 gigs of video. Right. Um, another thing you need to do is you need to be aware of the simple fact that you're just creating video. You, you, don't, work, you don't need a phone that has service. Right? You know what I'm saying? It is, 
it is a good thing to have a phone that has service, universal service, wherever. And um, and probably the only carrier that'll do that for you is Verizon. AT and T is pretty good, but a lot of times AT and T lose they drop signal and they lose you know the mountains and all that weird shit. Sprint's usually pretty good, and so but you don't want to get like a boost or cricket or nothing because there's a lot of places where their shit just didn't work. But unfortunately, Verizon in collusion with the government is probably the only one that's gonna be able to up you know handle that. Another thing is is that is that if you're only carrying a smartphone with you for communications, you know, aside from all of your other gear, but you need to be aware that, that the best places to get free Wi Fi is Starbucks, McDonald's, um small, you know, mom and pop kind of like coffee shops and places like that, you know, in the cities, right? And saying to have good free Wi Fi, you know, really good fast stuff. Right, so that you can you know keep track, keep connected, right? And uh, the next thing that you need to do while you're you know before you go, right, is you need to download you know, a couple of different map apps. Like the one we used was Maps.me, and you need to you know download Google Earth, and you need to download you know all the you know important stuff for all the places that you think you're going to go. You need to get offline maps so that you know where you're going all the time and you know where you've been. Right, you can pinpoint stuff. You can look for shit. You can add, you know, you can add your own description to whatever it is, uh, and um, pretty much that's really all the gear that you need. Right, that's that's how we did it. You know, we do four different phones between us. Right, you know, we also carried my laptop. You know, what I'm saying, and his his little I had him bought him a little Chromebook for 180 bucks that he carried around. You know, what I'm saying that when we did get to a city, we did get to Starbucks. We could upload video. We had. You know, we have the technical capability and all the software and stuff that we need to do between our two laptops. Now, I'm pretty sure you're not going to carry a laptop because you're not that, you know, computer savvy with it yet, right? So, all you're really interested in is just, you know, creating and storing raw video. And, and you do that with the little points you camera with these. And you do that with an extra one of these with a storage card inside of it, too. You know what I'm saying? And you, you can always go to Walmart and buy more of these. You know what I'm saying? Right? So anyway, so just hang on, bro. You know, so I'm, I'll make a couple more videos in these little series right, to help you out and, and talk to you about your gear and all the kind of shit that you're probably going to need or come across, especially since you're going to be carrying a charming dog with you. You know what I'm saying? Right? It's, it's going to be a little bit different experience. All right, so this is me, Brian. Right. Hang on, Dave. I'll make a couple more videos. Thank you.